Okay, so uh, we're done with uh, implementing our little game. Um, now, one good programming practice is to always document what it is that you did in plain English. So let's see the first couple of lines here. Uh, basically, what it entailed to was to uh, download the jQuery libraries from the Google repository. So let's uh, write that in English so that somebody who's reading our our code, our text, our HTML, they might have a clue on what it is that we intended to do. The, um, so those were the first two lines. So this line over here was to actually implement the, uh, the logic uh, that uh, governs our uh, game. So we're creating our own game. So these are all comments. These are all English comments to, to, our, to ourselves. They're, they're not, they don't modify any of the behavior or the logic of what we wrote is uh, is just for us to you know, come back later and understand what we did. So let's see. Uh, first was we wait for the for the document to completely load. We initialize the term to be zero. We add click events uh, for all these uh, table table cells, so that when the uh, when they click on these, right, uh, so that um, if um, any of the cells are clicked. And then we execute the commands inside of here. Uh, what do we do? We first get a hold of the uh, cell itself. Uh, once we have it, we uh, check for the turn, right? If it's, uh, if it's O's turn, then we toggle and make it um, X's turn. And we toggle between 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. For us, 0 meaning O and the value 1 meaning X. Uh, so we change the turn to be x. Um, although it may, might might make more sense to first change the background and then make it x turn. Uh, it doesn't really change the logic, but it just reads better that we draw first the background for O, and that then we change the turn to be uh, x turn. So this is the same thing for when it's x turn. We draw. Uh, the X in the background of the cell, and then we change the turn uh, to be O's turn. So we change the background uh, from X, and then we change the turn to be O's turn. So let's say turn equals zero. Okay, very good. All right, once we document that, let's also document our uh, HTML code. Let's see the um, here we're styling we're, the, we're styling the tables, the table cells. We were making them the correct size, width, height, and whatnot, and also uh, styling the uh, styling the, the, the borders to be uh, the top no no top border, then the right hand border, the bottom uh, border. But uh, oh, I think I think I used the wrong uh, commenting style here. It's actually we use a slash star. Uh, depending where you are in the HTML document, um, you use different types of ta of, of comments. But never mind. I mean, you, you don't have to add the comments. I'm just adding them here just to um, first go over what we did, and second, you know, to actually um, uh, leave it for posterity for anybody who wants to use reuse this code. Uh, so it's, we're changing the sizes to be 100 by 100, border on bottom and right, solid. We want it to be uh, not black. Uh, we want it to be blue, blue lines. Um, we do the same thing. Uh, we're saying for the rightmost cells, uh, we just turn on the bottom border. And for the uh, bottom most cells, uh, we the, the border is that uh, we change the the right uh, border. We make it five pixels blue. Okay, uh, so we comment that. Now let's add some comment here that this is the title, this is the, the heading for the for the entire document. We say that uh, the following table. This is going to be the what we use as as a board. Uh, where we're going to draw our x's and zeros. Um, then we let's see. Let's say here that this is the first uh, where we're going to be declaring the, the three 
rows, right, with uh, each row having three columns. Uh, these are the columns. We're going to name them each with individual unique names so that we can refer to them above with the style. Um, let's see. Then uh, we, we're putting non-breaking spaces in each one of the cells so that they that the browser renders them even though they are empty. Let's save that and if we reload, uh, nothing should change. Right? Everything should be the same. Um, again, those were just comments to ourselves so that we, we understand what, what, you know, what we did uh, a while back. Alright, so the last thing that we're going to do is that we're going to uh, upload our game to our website. Okay, this is my website at, at CEWeb. Uh, in here, I have an index just like you guys do. We're going to create a folder that uh, mimics the same directory structure that I have locally on my machine. We create a jQuery directory, and in there, we're going to create a tic tac toe directory, and in there, we create the images directory. If you remember, inside the images directory, we have the x.png and the o.png. So let's look for that. Let's uh, go there. Here we are in the internet directory. In there, we have the local version of our jQuery directory and our local tic-tac-toe directory and our images directory. Let's look for the PNG versions of these images. There we are. The O and the X. We're going to upload. There they are. Those are the two PNG files. Very good. That's all we really need uh, as images. We're going to upload also the tic-tac-toe.html we have locally. We upload that. There we go. So now it's uh, uploaded and ready to go. It's online. Let's see. It's at the root of our, of our website. It's uh, where we have our index uh, page, um, and in there we have a jQuery directory. Let's see, where is the index page? There we are. That's the index page. Right? From there, uh, we have um, we have a jQuery directory in there. We have a tic-tac-toe directory, and in there we have the tic-tac-toe.html. So let's let's try and browse to it let's to see that indeed it's there. So HTTP CE web uml.edu there that, okay there's my website uh, Jay Nunziato is going to ask me to log in probably uh, in there there's an index page but I don't really want to go to the index page I what I want to do I want to oh here's here's the login what I really want to do is uh, I'm going to close this that's my index page I haven't styled it or anything what I really want to do is uh, go uh, from my uh, top level directory I want to go that's my top level directory I want to go into jQuery so let's type that, jQuery. There we go. And inside of jQuery, uh, we have the tic-tac-toe directory. Let's type tic-tac-toe directory. Tic-tac-toe directory. There we go. And inside of tic-tac-toe directory, there's the file tic-tac-toe.html. All right. So, that, so let's, let's copy that file name. And let's paste it at the end of this. Uh, Control V, maybe. Let me get let me get at the at the end here. There we go. So paste this. Now let's uh, let's load it. Enter. Let's press or go. There we go. So there we go. That's the online version of our game. It's the one on CE Web, right? And it works just like the local version, right? Because we upload all the files that we have locally. And notice that it looks exactly like our local version. This is a local version under the C drive. Um, and, uh, and and it looks exactly the same as the remote, the one that is online. Oop, sorry, I accidentally reloaded the entire page. Oh, let me back to my index. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, I'm reloaded again. Oh, okay. So see, it's clear. The board is clear, and we can click, and, and it reacts beautifully. Very good.